along with my co-chair of the summit, Dr. Marilyn DeLuca, we are really delighted to have you all here today in this lovely venue, courtesy of McKinsey & Company. Thank you, Lowell Bryant, for the uh, availability of the space. We're looking forward to a really productive afternoon drawing from the collective and impressive wisdom and experience represented by each of you in this room. Thanks, what, a, what a great opportunity uh, for the conversation, and, and I'm going to get out of the way so you can have that conversation. Uh, but I do want to welcome you on behalf of NYU, on behalf of the College of Nursing, to this uh, important meeting. Um, in the room are uh, some of our partners in the private sector, many donors and, and philanthropists, uh, many important NGOs and, and folks from the university. And what I'm going to do is uh, provide you with a summary of the report uh, of this commission on the education of health professionals for the 21st century. Um, it is in your binders, I, I just saw that you have a copy there, so I'm not going to go into any detail, but rather just um, uh, explain the logic of why this exercise was undertaken at all, why at this point in time, and then give you a little bit of a flavor of the uh, recommendation. I would first of all like to thank the organizers for inviting the government of Malawi to participate in this uh, symposium. Like the good professor has said, let us speak, put our feet on the ground. Uh, we in Malawi, we know we were affected by issues of human resources, the crisis. We've heard about what good practices are out there, and we thought we have heard we've been affected, and what do we do? So we want to take this time to share our experiences, the good things, the bad things, and then how to move forward. Um, if I need to start by sort of focusing on one key message, a message which we can take home when leaving this room is that most of the health uh, development challenges or the targets including the MDGs and the recent emerging problems related to non-communicable diseases, I don't think uh, it will be very difficult to achieve these targets or objectives without uh, clearly addressing the issues related to health workforce which are available within a supportive and functional health systems. And the need is urgent, the need is immediate. The action has to be done now, and there's no better sort of forum than this particular sort of event here to start discussing and taking some concrete actions. about evidence-based strategies for health workforce development. Uh, we've seen, seen some of the lessons learned from examples at the community and the national and regional levels. Uh, and we've heard about opportunities for strategic investments and cross-sector collaborations uh, to create sustainable programs uh, in health, human resources and health. Wonderful discussion, and, and thank you each and every one of you for coming. It was um, it was a very, uh, in many ways, a very easy assemblage to manage because so many of you were so enthused and so responsive. And it was just to us, it was a measure of how important this is and how important it continues to be. So um, that's the easy part. The rest is tenacity and um, hard work and um, continuing to integrate all of what we have learned and will continue to learn. So. Thank you for being here.